Welcome back to the Sunday Gorilla Men's Bible Study. I'm Brother Thomas Lee Harris III, and we're continuing our verse-by-verse -verse study through the book of Matthew, the Gospel according to Matthew. And I'm going to jump right into it where we have reached chapter 4. Um, I hope you have your highlighter. Even though we're, we're kind of um, really just letting the Word speak because... We'll be highlighting all day, but the word is so powerful, it really just speaks strong. So, chapter 4, we're going to jump right into chapter 4, the gospel according to Matthew, verse 1. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he, was, when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him and said, if you are the Son of God, command these stones, command that these stones become bread. Verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Verse 5. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, he shall, he shall give his angels charge over thee, over you. And in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. Verse 7. And Jesus said to him, it is written again, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Verse 8. And the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, All things I will give you if you, fail, if you fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan. For it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Verse 11. Then the devil left him. And behold, the angels came and ministered to him. Now when Jesus heard that John had been put in prison, he departed to Galilee. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is by the sea, in the regions of Zebulun and Naphtali. Verse 14. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, by, this, by the way of the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And upon those who sat in the region in the shadow of death, light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brothers, Simon, Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. All right, so we're going to pause there for a second and just highlight he's beginning to to pick his his disciples. Verse 19. Then he said to them, "Follow me. I will make you fishers of men." They immediately left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother in, in the boat with Zebedee their father mending their nets he called them and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him and Jesus went about all Galilee teaching in the synagogues preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people we can highlight showing actually the works of Jesus Verse 24, Then his fame went out through all Syria, and he brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, and those who were demon-possessed, epileptics, and paraplegics. And he healed them. Great multitudes followed him from Galilee, from Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond the Jordan. Amen? And that concludes the fourth chapter in the gospel according to Matthew. And we see here, it, it begins 
with the, with the 40 days that Jesus was led into the wilderness. And, and what we can take from this, not to preach on it, that when Jesus was approached or questioned by the devil, he did not play with the devil. He stuck to the word. You know? So, in our walk, in our temptation, don't play with the devil. Stick to the word. Hit him with the word, move on. Amen? Don't play with him. You already know what he's there for. Um, the chapter continues as Jesus um, begins his ministry and of, of the, the, the preaching in verse 17 it talks about repentance for the kingdom of heaven is at hand and then from there he goes on to, to gather up start to gather up his disciples who were fishermen and he said he, he would make them fishers of men amen and the, the chapter ends with the power of the physical manifestations of Jesus healing all types of sickness, disease, and people who were uh, uh, possessed by the devil. Amen? And that concludes the fourth chapter in the Gospel according to Matthew. Thank you. Amen.